Hey, how's it going? Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. I could, I started cutting up the, the vegetables and dicing up the pork belly and I just became hungry so we had to jump the gun on this a little early because I'm starving. Still haven't eaten yet. I'm in the tail end of my intermittent fast and I'm ready to go. So I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and do uh, seafood. I was going to go lamb, uh, a little pork belly, lamb, and that's my usual go-to, but um, I decided to go uh, seafood today because they had this bright red, um, look at that, well, there's, it's a little acidic looking now because I put lemon juice on it. That's wild sockeye salmon. That bright red is that astaxanthin uh, content. If you ever break open uh, Nutrex astaxanthin capsule, it's this really bright red um, uh, color, has this rich bright red color to it that is from an algae, but it's also um, in some, uh, it's located in salmon naturally as well. So what we have here, if you jump up to the, or my last post, I gave you a little, like a, a shot of what we're making today. So I, I'm starting off with, I like to steam my vegetables now just because it's super quick. Uh, we have beets, uh, broccoli, and sweet potato. And right here, this is, uh, okay. that's pork belly. You probably turn down the heat on that. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's pastured pork belly. $7.99 a pound. You get a third of a pound of that. What's that? I mean, the two fifty dollars for just a really good base of, uh, you know, just, just a kind of, season the pan, so to speak. I have habanero, diced habanero, diced garlic, um, a little Himalayan salt, just to get the pan going. I'm cooking in a cast iron pan, so we need it nice and um, lubricated for the, the salmon that I'm gonna pan sear. I pl originally planned on baking the salmon. Uh, somehow I lost the baking sheet from my old place, uh, but so I don't have a baking sheet. So what we did is, we're just, you know, going on the fly and doing a little pan searing of, uh, of the sockeye salmon. And it looks like the, the pork belly here is, is pretty much done, but that's, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a mash, uh, avocado mash. So this is a big reed avocado there um, down in San Diego, right? Yeah, so it's local, pretty local um, to Los Angeles, and they're big, they're, I mean, they're, 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 what, two ninety nine for them. I mean, look how big these things are. Nice, organic. I think they're, we got them from uh, an avocado farm, or I think Whole Foods got them from a farm in uh, Encinitas, California. I think so. Does that sound right? I'm not sure on that one. I don't know. Oh, wait, here it is. California. Yeah, I'm assuming. So we're just going to go ahead and assume, San Diego. <laughs> no, I, I think it is. So I just like to, it looks like this pork belly is done but we're just so we're going to take that out and put um it's gonna be hot give a little uh something i can like a, a sh something to that would oh, yeah yeah no I'll, I'll figure it out you know. um yeah no i got it so I, i'll put the pork belly aside but i'll keep the good fat to and some of the the garlic I'll keep some of the, the pork belly, just kind of add a little flavor to uh, the salmon that I'm about to put in. So the salmon is good to go. It's been, we put a little, no, uh, got no this. thanks man, we're good. Okay. Um, I like to cook it flesh down. And then in the last, because um, I like to eat, eat the skin, to, you know, personally. Good omega fats. Um, and so yeah, I like to cook it skin down and then towards the last end of it, I'll flip it over to get the skin cooked a little bit. And um, basically just a little, everything has hot sauce that, you know, that I cook with. And just let it, you know, low heat, cover. Got our vegetables going, steaming, just a little, you know, these, these steamers you can get for $25, $25 online most likely. I got mine at Macy's. A little inch of water and you can just kind of dice it up, uh, dice the vegetables up thinly and just forget about it, come back when, you know, it's already, it's cooked, you just put it aside your protein, some good fats, and you have a meal in, you know, 20 minutes, so, as this pan, look at that, that's good, 
past your pork belly. With, for those who, pork belly is basically bacon uh, in its solid form, so um, I love it. So that's going to be part of our mash here. So here's a, the big thing that I love. So I love the most underutilized part of the salmon. I mean, it's like, is the collar. That's where it's loaded in good omega fats. So look at this. I found wild king salmon collars. Look at that. I mean, look at how dense that is. Meaty. When, when, I, when I say dense, I mean meaty. I mean, it's super cheap, too, I mean, because nobody buys the collars. They usually just get tossed. So what Whole Foods does here in Glendale is they smoke them up, and they're amazing. They're rarely, uh, they had them recently. Remember they had the halibut, halibut collars? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. You just kind of, you know, get in there. This is going to be part of the mash that I'm going to make. Super oily, really good fats. You got to watch out for some of the bones, obviously, but man, that's good. They do a really good job over there. So, you know, any questions? No. Brett says hot sauce, everything. Brett, who flowers? Brett North. North. Oh yeah, what's up, Brett? Hot sauce on everything. He's right. You know. If you want to get a little skin in your, this is going to be part of the mash. And when I say mash, it's, that's what I like to call it. You, um, I didn't create that. Crosby Taylor definitely coined that term and I took it from him. But yeah, it's it. you add, well, I'll show you. So here we have uh, broccoli sprouts, $2.99, one of the most nutrient dense foods you can put into your body. $2.99 at Whole Foods. Uh, Trader Joe's has a good microgreen section as well. And what they do, they're, um, these are, yeah, these are broccoli sprouts that um, I heard Dr. Rhonda Patrick talking about um, a form of, uh, I don't know if it's a form of sulfur uh, that, that broccoli sprouts contain, that it's just, it's, it's slightly more nutrient dense in the, the micronutrient content than actual broccoli itself so I like to eat as much of that as possible I mean what you're doing for your body you can't you can't put a price on that $2.99 you know, do a couple of those a week six bucks a dollar or more than a dollar a day and you're you know Ryan Durham, nutrition. Ryan says, Durham I don't like to eat the skin it's crispy better and what nutritional value does it offer the skin yeah the skin is what's up Ryan uh, the skin is located or uh, loaded in good uh, omega-3 content. Now, a lot of people don't like to eat the skin. Crispy tastes better, for sure. Um, you may be cooking out some of those that oil content, um, but it's, you know, a lot of people think that some of the, the toxins and mercury level, even though there is a very minimal mercury in uh, sockeye salmon, they, some people believe that that's where a lot of that, because it's, it's the outer layer that absorbs uh, certain um, things like, you know, just the different ra you know, radiation levels that may have happened, you know, some people believe in that, um, but I, yeah, so it's cooking up nicely. I would, if you, yeah, if you want to cut the skin off, yeah, I don't know if it's for taste or uh, for taste reasons, I would definitely make it crispy personally, but I like to eat the skin because of the omega-3 content that um, the, the oils and the skin have. So. But it's a toss-up, though. <coughs> it's a toss-up, though. I mean, sometimes I do cut it off if it's if it's overly cooked and, or undercooked. It's just it's got to be perfect. So, luckily, I can control that right now. And so we'll get back to the mash right here. So, this is uh, smoked jalapeno kraut. So it's fermented cabbage, a little bit of fermented uh, smoked jalapeno as well to give it a kick. So when, when you break down the cellulose walls of cabbage. Um, cruciferous vegetables in general need to be cooked and in this case if they're not cooked they need to be fermented so you can do this yourself at home uh, my sister does she makes one even better than this Brooke um, you need to give me that recipe please I'll do a couple tablespoons of that it tastes incredible and your body's able to digest all of it and so you're getting very good vitamin A content vitamin C content I mean look at this 10% uh, 
of your uh, daily recommended amount, uh, amount of vitamin A, right? So there are eight servings of that. So you're getting 80% of your vitamin A content of your daily, uh, daily recommended uh, vitamin A. And then here's a big one, vitamin C content, 200% of your uh, vitamin C content that you, you need daily. I just, I love nutrient-dense foods. I want everything in there to have an absolute purpose, which the beets with the nitric oxide content, the sweet potatoes, beta carotene, vitamin A, uh, C, and it's nature's highest form of hyaluronic acid. I think it's nature's highest form of hyaluronic acid. Tremella mushroom may be second. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know it's it's right there at the top. And then broccoli loaded in good zinc. Um, with broccoli's in there, the floor, it's right at the top. I don't like to eat the, the stalks because it's just basically all cellulose. And although it does have vitamin C, it's just fiber that your body can't really, it's not as nutrient dense as the, as the, the tops. So while those are steaming, um, Ooh, okay. Well, those are definitely done. I'll put those aside. Well, actually, you know, I'll let it air out. Um, I like my vegetables al dente, so cooked all the way through, but not overly done. Let's hope. <laughs> no, it's actually okay. So, yeah, that's um, that's that. The salmon looks like. I don't want to cut into that. I just kind of feel it. I eyeball it. So right now, what I'm gonna do is flip it over. Um. Looks like we're getting close. I mean, it was a fresh, it wasn't previously frozen, so, so, you know, fish cooks up really quickly and the last thing you want to do is overcook it, and so here we go. We're getting close. So, Jill Sperling says, hello, Andy. Looks yummy. Hey. Hey, Jill. It is. Seriously. That's the one thing that I don't really like going out. I mean, the only place that I'll go out to eat is Air... <coughs> Excuse me. Air One, because they're... You know, they have very high standards with, with their chef, chefs and how they cook. and They do very similar uh, stuff to this. And they, um, you know what, I'm just going to let it steam sear on the way out. So I'll just cover that up. Finish up my mash. Put a little, uh, yeah, a little bit more of this um, salmon collar in there. You know, it's smoked salmon collar too, with the pork belly, avocado, we have the jalapeno kraut, the little hot sauce, and then, um, oh, yeah, I forgot about this, a daikon radish. So, I don't know if you've noticed when you go, for those who eat sushi, you know that the white radish that's always on the side? Or, well, like, kind of artistically on the side? Um, well, that's daikon, and that's meant to help your body process proteins, uh, I mean, because a lot of sashimi and sushi is, you know, raw fish. So daikon radish, we like to have that in there. I like the way it tastes. It's very good for detox, very good for cleansing the system in general. So um, so that's why it's in there. Another big one right here, cilantro, organic cilantro. I diced it up. Very good for uh, uh, metabolizing heavy metals, uh, mercury particularly. We're eating a little bit of... Uh, you know, there's a tiny amount of mercury in uh, sockeye salmon and, and, and basically all fish. So just uh, I'm going to put that in the mash and help my body metabolize it. And oh, my last go-to, well, second to last, is my beet kraut. So this is one of my favorites right here, beet kraut by Pickle Planet. Beets, I can't get, beets probably my number one. Just head to toe, circulation, nitric oxide, the, the content, I mean, you could take... You know, there are so many companies capitalizing on beets because it's flat out effective. You, I mean, there are people just making beet powder supplements, adding a little bit of water and charging three ninety nine for it. I mean, I just like to eat the actual raw uh, source well, or cooked source in that. So put a little bit of that in there. Look how color, colorful that is. I mean, and the thing is, it's amazing. So tasting. And to round it out, all this has been washed. I know someone's going to say something to me. It's all been washed and, uh, oh, forgot about this. So the ginger, just for a little kick. Ginger, very good for uh, strengthening the immune system, uh, reducing inflammation. Adds a little bite, but, um, yeah, if you can, a little lemon, Himalayan salt, mash up some garlic, add some ginger, maybe some turmeric as well, apple cider vinegar, warm up some bone broth. You have that every night. 
unbelievable for you. And uh, this is a little diced celery right here. Same, similar, you know, it's just uh, one of the best uh, building blocks, vegetables uh, as a building block for testosterone. I think the next one is ginger, asparagus. Um, I want to say broccoli because of the zinc content, but also, it, you know, so for the people that are, you know, uh, women, or maybe aren't, it's not only testosterone, uh, it's not only good for testosterone, it's just, I mean, it's a very versatile, the water content is huge, uh, water and fiber content um, are, are incredible, but also it acts as a, di as a diuretic, so say you have this, you work out, your body's going to just, you know, get that cycle going of um, releasing, you know, toxins, impurities, and kind of like acting as like a change of oil, so to speak, of uh, your own fluids. And Frank Haro says this is complete gold. Who's this? Frank Haro. Oh, Frank, what's up, buddy? Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that's good to go. I know I said I wasn't going to cut into it. Um, and then, okay, so this is why I call it, you know, the mash. It's just, you just cut all this. Oh, man, so good. Um, forgot about the hot sauce. And I also forgot to mention that there are about seven cloves of garlic throughout this whole meal. Seven, eight. I diced that up. I just really believe in the, the properties that it has of strengthening, strengthening the immune system. There. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I mean, that's the thing. It's just I want all my, oh, man, that smoke, the collar's getting mixed in there, too. So we have salmon, smoked salmon collar, pork belly, reed avocado, uh, beet kraut, smoked jalapeno kraut, cilantro, daikon radish, celery, cayenne, ginger, garlic, sockeye salmon, uh, uh, steamed beet, sweet potatoes, broccoli. I mean, th these are the meals that just wake you up. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm about to destroy this. So, yeah, it's. Uh, I'll plate it for you just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, and I'll. Do my best to uh, to do that. Normally, I mean, this is right out of the pan, but you gotta kind of like make it look good for the audience, right? Ooh, look at that! Nice little garlic to put on top. Yeah, that's amazing, Jim. And then a little uh, a little of the mash. You don't have to raise that plate up. No, I definitely will. It. I definitely will. There's that mash, you know, it's just one of my favorite shows, you know, before I, well, before I wanted to like be a baseball player or whatever and, or do something else when I was a little kid, um, I wanted to go to uh, Cordon Bleu and be a chef, you know, cook every now and then for the family. That's going to be hot, but we'll figure it out. So I just, it's, uh, I like the way, I love the way I feel after this. Love the way it tastes. Um, you know, the, the nutrient density in this meal is just, uh, I mean, you're going to be flying high. And, and you know, it's one of those things that, oh, I forgot about this. Secret weapon. Uh, bulletproof brain octane. I do, uh, I sprinkle a half tablespoon. It tastes like nothing. It's just a concentrated form of coconut oil where they, um, they spin it out in this machine, they collect all the medium chain triglycerides, and it just, you know, it's good to add to, um, God, that looks good, man. So there we are. Hope this phone doesn't fall. Hope it looks good. It's definitely, it tastes good. Thank you guys for uh, joining in, and yeah, until next time, we're about to eat. See you, have a good weekend.